the future of warfare taking shape right here in Orlando. She is the best video game designers right here in Central Florida, unless you didn't know that. And the Pentagon hired some of them to create the soldier training ground of tomorrow. Elizabeth Alvarez here now with the story. Hey, Liz. Hey, guys. Yeah, this is pretty incredible. What you see here is supposed to enable soldiers to train in a virtual environment. It'll be used by the U.S. Army, a first for men and women in infantry. Welcome to Real Time Immersion. It's not a game or a movie. An environment that brings you the ability to operate in any condition. It's how the U.S. Army will soon be training combat soldiers. It's called the Dismounted Soldier Training System. This provides a virtual environment, but realistic environment that they can do all of the training uh, that they need in order to perform their, their tasks. Floyd West with Intelligent Decisions says it's all being developed right here in Orlando. The idea is to mimic the real world as close as possible. Talk about an innovative, out-of-the-box, ready training program. The technology we're using can recreate caves, for example, so we can generate caves that they would go in and search out. Or how about soldiers jumping out of helicopters, operating in the depths of the night, whether by land, sea, or in the air, troops will train in a 3D virtual environment, wearing a helmet-mounted display, computer backpacks, sensors, the whole nine yards. It's 21st century. I mean, we're taking technology that's out there, and a lot of this technology, at least from the gaming side of things, are in 60-70% of our uh, of our kids' homes today. Engine is the next generation platform. So why not put it in the, the warfighters' hands to train and to be better prepared? We're not using live bullets here. Uh, so if they make mistakes, make the mistakes in the trainer. Don't make it out in the real world. Wow, pretty cool, right? This cutting-edge training should be ready by January of next year. The first place it's going, Fort Benning, Georgia. Eventually, the transportable system will be in over 100 sites around the world for the U.S. Army to use. Live in the studio tonight, Elizabeth Alvarez, Fox 35 News. Okay, Liz, thanks. Now, the development of the training system costs $57 million.